Here comes Kasim Hussein getting the night's action underway. John Pegg carrying his bucket. He's going to be taking on Sean, Krul, uh, Sean Crowley from the Jab Gym in Ormskirk. Sean Krull on my mind. I was training with him this morning. Sounds very similar to Sean Crowley. We'll get it right from now on. Here comes Crowley, some good tickets, goes by the nickname Chalky, bit of a stumble as he gets in the ring, I'm sure he'll find his feet pretty quickly from now on. Action underway here in Wigan. Uh, officially down as Sean Crowley's professional debut, but he has been on the unlicensed circuit for a little while and took part in some white collars. He had about seven or eight fights on the unlicensed circuit, which pretty good introduction to the world of professional boxing. Certainly getting hit without a head guard anyway. Nice southpaw here, looks pretty relaxed. Just getting his punches and getting his feet moving. Don't forget, let us know what you think of the action tonight using a hashtag VIP Boxing Live. I'll get that working when I've got a spare pair of hands, when Kremner actually turns up. Drop to the body after the job, John, come on. Crowley looking, concentration on his face, just watching everything that comes in in the first couple of minutes. Not putting too much power into his punch, he's just letting his hands go. I saying like a typical sort of journeyman that you get on your professional debut or make him work, you let him know he's there. It's up to Crowley to not let him get too confident, not let him get too close and let his hands go too much. Just 
keep him at bay, keep him, let him know he's in with a, a good fighter and try and beat any little bit of ambition he's got out of him. He's doing a good job of just making his aim fall short. Nice left-hand counter there as well. A little bit more Finish spike going into these punches. Finish with the body. Just a, a little warning for punches slipping low there. A little bit harsh, that, I thought. thought Hussein borderline at worst. Not sure if you can see on the camera uh, Crowley's family and friends at ringside. As ever with a professional debut, for the looks on the face, you'd think it was top of the table, well, top of the bill in Las Vegas. Uh, I suppose to, to Crowley and his friends it is. Again. Again. Just found his feet here now. A little bit more spite, he's working well to the body. Holding his feet a little bit more and letting the counters go. Nice, just stepped back out of range from Hussein there and then came forward behind a couple of solid shots. Yes. Again, Southpaw right up to a body, he's working well for Crowley early on. And gets the first round of his official professional career in the books. Pretty solid. I'll try and listen into his corner, pass on what I can hear. The answer is not much. Good card coming up tonight. We've got 11 fights. We've got the likes of John Kays, Mark Thompson, Adam Ishmael, very promising Luke Evans, Rick Skelton, Ricky Starkey, Pat Bill from top to bottom here in Wigan. A couple of fighters were supposed to fight in Oldham last week. Unfortunately, that show had to be pulled up the last minute. So Steve just slipped them onto this, made sure that all the training didn't go to waste. Hopefully you'll be with us for a duration. Don't let, don't forget, you can let us know what you think of it on a hashtag VIP Boxing Live. If you're wondering where the claymaker is, he's probably wondering exactly the same himself. I think he's been on a, a bit of an all-day session up in Glasgow. Here's round two. And Crowley will be looking to just carry on where he left off in the first round. Yeah, he's got his range now, Cowley, and the right up to the body's landing again. He's found a nice spot for that behind Hussein's left elbow. Good attack by Hussein there. One of uh, Cowley's opponents during his unlicensed and white collar days was Ian Napper, the brilliant little flyweight, super flyweight, bantamweight, multi-champion, brilliant little fighter. I think Sean and Ian spent six rounds together, they did the full 18 minutes, and Ian recommended that Sean turn over after seeing what he had in the ring. I think they've remained pretty good friends, actually. Ian sticks his head into training and lets Sean go down to his gym. You can see some of that movement. Just finally been joined by uh, Creme de la Kremna. He's looking right. very dapper in his uh, <laughs> tweed and jodpers. How are you doing, Andy? Yeah, not bad, mate. How are yourself? Not bad. Really um, got my leopard print shirt on, you know, for Johnny Kays. <laughs> he is. He's not joking. Kremna's actually wearing a full leopard skin shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Cass Hussein's in there. How's he been getting on? Uh, Crowley's looked pretty good, actually, so far. It's just the second round. I know he's been doing quite a few personals with John. Uh, I seen him at our gym. He's a Jersey lad, isn't he? Um, he knows Lee Meager quite well, as you know, we were talking to Lee Meager. And he, he looked quite tidy on the pads when I, when I seen him with John. Yeah, I think he's had like six or seven unlicensed fight and a load of white collars, so it's not his first time in the ring. He's looked pretty good. He's got his distance yeah. right and he knows clearly knows what he's doing. He doesn't look as nervous as a lot yeah, of debutants course, either. Yeah, of course. Of um, course. I know he's been. Uh, he had one of them unlicensed with Ian Napper. He went six rounds with him, got a draw. So Ian Napper. I know he's a small lad, but 
He's a, he was a very good fighter. Yeah, if you can hold your own with Napa, it doesn't matter what weight you're at, does it? Yeah, God. of course. Yeah, the same's coming forward, doing his usual job, but uh, Crawley's just, nothing's getting through, not much he's landing. Pretty nice, really. Good right up to a body he's got as well. Yeah, that was a you know a, a, a lovely backhand from um, the, the south pass stance there. You know, Hussein he comes, he fight, he fights regularly. You know what you're going to get from Hussein, and he's you know he's he's durable. He don't get stopped very often. So is this your first time doing this, Andy? Yeah, as you can tell, I'm a bit nervous, but I'll get I'll get out of the swing in a bit. <laughs> well, it's only my third time. <laughs> Eventually, you just end up talking rubbish. <laughs> we can't we can't be any worse than Claymaker, no, anyway. No, 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 <laughs> definitely not. But I've noticed where, where the ring card girls, you know, I might have to get up in my leopard uh, leopard print shirt in a second. No, Karen Priestley turned around when you said where the ring card girls. <laughs> <laughs> might get called into action. <laughs> I've got no idea, usually one of the highlights of the night, that. <laughs> so you're wearing the leopard skin in, in honour of John Kays, who's fighting later on? Yeah, he's his comeback fight in it tonight. He's, um, I'm not sure who he's fighting. He's fighting the brewery, he has. Uh, so hopefully, you know, he, he comes through, he gets around and he, he does a good job. He's a nice lad. Johnny Kays, you know, he's got a good corner there. He's got Whopper Warren Tanzi and he's got Darren, um, Darren McKay. Carrick obviously in the corner. Darren's a very good coach. Um, I used to train with Darren when I was an amateur at Borshaw. Very good on the pads. I rate Darren very highly as a trainer. And I think he's got a good camp behind him. John was just unlucky to run into a really good Adrian Gonzalez last time out, wasn't he? That was Adrian at his absolute best. Yeah, it was. It was a brilliant uppercut as well. Uh, Cass just gave me a cheeky wink then and let onto me. Um, so he's enjoying himself, that's the main thing in there. He's having a bit of a go here now at the start of the round. Might be trying to impress his mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe he's putting a bit of a show on. Every now and then though, Cassie comes for it. He does come for yes. a win, you know. In the first round when he fought Chris Conwell, he had a bit of a go. And then when he knew he wasn't going to win the fight, he started to go into survival mode. So he, he does now and then have a bit of a go, Cass. Yeah, I don't think Sean's quite put him into survival mode yet, has he? Yeah, he's landed nice clean shots, but maybe Cass has just felt if he's not that stinging them and he can afford to be a bit more aggressive tonight. Yeah, I think so. I think it's because he's not catching it. He ain't caught him with a clean shot yet. If it, maybe if he catches him down the pipe with a clean shot, Cass might start uh, stop coming forward. But um, it looks like he's enjoying himself in there and it looks like he you know, he feels comfortable with his punch power. Do you remember your debut, Andy? How, how did you feel? How will, how will Sean be feeling now? And I know like, he's probably done 10 rounds in the gym, but the third round of your debut probably feels like the 15th round of Ali Frazier, doesn't it? Yeah, well, uh, you know, my debut, it went a bit, it went a bit you know, pear-shaped, my debut. I put a bit of a stinker on. Um, I was a bit, you know, frightened. No one would come and watch me again. But since then, obviously, the nerves have, nerves have gone away. But I was a bit of a, uh, like a fox or a rabbit caught in the headlight. And, I, you know, just one of them things. I imagine a couple of jabs to the face get your attention pretty quick on live and you up. Yeah, he's, like I say, it's a, bit, it's a bit weird, but as soon as you get caught with one of them jabs down the middle of the pipe and them little gloves, you know, you, you soon wake, uh, wake up and start, you know, boxing and moving. A good build tonight. Who are you looking forward to most? I, I've seen a lot of Luke Evans in the gym recently sparring with, like, Kofi Yates, who fights tomorrow, and he, I'm looking forward to seeing Luke in Evans. Luke in action. It's a good fight with Lee Conley. Yeah, it's a really good fight. Um, Lee Conley's uh, one of the lads who sigh rates quite highly as a journeyman. Yeah. So I think it'll be a good fight for Luke tonight. It'll test him a little bit and it'll answer a few questions for you know to people. But I've seen um, Luke Evans inspiring quite a bit and I think he's a really tidy fighter. So I think he'll come through that challenge, but there might be moments in there where he has to use his defence for as he hasn't used it in other fights, maybe. Yeah, sharp is the word Kofi H uses when he describes Luke Evans. Nice left hand from Cowley there while we were yapping away. Made Cash just take a step back. But his uh, hands are just dropping a bit, aren't they now, Sean's? Just uh, be praying to have the fourth round and just get this first one under his belt and move on, I think. Yes, nice double nice. jab. So did you audition for this role tonight or did Simon just volunteer you for it? Oh no, Simon just volunteered me for it tonight and um, you know, like I say, I'm glad you've come, otherwise I'd be a bit lost here. <laughs> but um, anyone who's listening in, make sure you're tweeting us on uh, VIP Boxing Live and uh, we'll give you a retweet and you know, let us know what you're thinking of the show. You got that, Simon's drummed that into you. <laughs> yeah, I have to write it down because I don't forget it. Yeah, he's usually, Simon's usually on with uh, the Nutter Rutter who's 
probably up to no good in Ibiza at the moment, I think. He, he was due to fight last week, but because for, for sure got done, Rutter's decamped to Ibiza. Probably getting rid of eight weeks hard training <laughs> in the space of eight days, I think. Uh, Sean Crowley's probably three rounds up here. He's coming up to a fourth and final one of his professional debut. Mate, I, I reckon we're going to get a burst here from Cass. I think he's going to... The first minute of the final round, I think he's going to try and put it on Sean yeah, a little I, bit. I, I think so. I think he'll come out flying there, Cassie. Um, he's going to have a pop, see if he can take him out. And it, obviously, he'll have to weather the storm, uh, the debutant. And I, I think he'll come through. <laughs> he'll come through it. He's boxed quite nicely here in parts. Um, I just, you know, wish he could have stung him with uh, one or two big shots. But Cass, you know what you're going to get from Cass? He's, you know, he's a, I think he's a great fighter <laughs> for his journey. I think he's not a bad little fighter, and he's a, he's a bit of a character as well. Give us some, uh, give us some cast stories. Well, there's, there's loads to be honest with you. He loves getting on first because obviously he can go home and yeah, go home, get his money and go home. He says to me, he hates it when he fights. Obviously, people who who've had a few fights and they're on later in the bill, they might be big ticket sellers, and he said he hates that. But these are the fights he likes. Gets his money and goes home fast. Lovely shot. Yeah, it's nice. He's just loosened up, hasn't he? It's as if he's relaxed. Yeah, yeah, he's um, letting the man's go. You know, he's using that uh, southpaw stance to good effect there. Uh, some lovely big shots going in here. I'd just like to see him, you know, catch him cleanly. But Cass has got a nice tight guard. Yeah, Come nice on. Combinations. 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 This will do him in the long, do him well in the long yes. run because he's not had, you know, Cass tucking up and just trying to take the money. He's had, he's had a go tonight. You know, he's, he's let a, quite a lot of shots sort of go. Yeah, see, he's had a go. I've been the Cowley thing that struck me most about him. He's got good range, Bunches hasn't he? He seems to lad. sense the distance of Cass's punches quite well. Decent force. Yeah, he does. You know, well, just just a, an inch or two out of range. There's been a few times where he's just got it yes. absolutely perfect Send and managed to come back with a counter. He's, you know, he's he's looking for that backhand. He's setting it up nicely with a jab. I think if he did land that shot, it would be quite a big shot. It does look, you know, quite jab, quite son. an hard shot uh, coming round the corner. As, as John, I know John won't give too, go, too many secrets about away, but has John been impressed with what he's seen of him in there? Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't spoke, spoke to him much since my injury about him, but yeah. I, I presume so because you know John don't work, you know, with like people who he thinks are not putting the effort. So I, I presume he's got he's got something there, and he's a good kid. Um, I know L Lee was telling me bits about him, said, you know, saying he's, he's boxed over the circuit. He's done a bit amateur as well as obviously yeah. the unlicensed. So he's got the calibre, and that was lovely. That was lovely boxing, that. Yeah, that nice, was very nice. Both hands. Nice Accu tight nice guard from Cass. Well. Uh, you know. Nice and accurate, and then moved his yeah. feet. How is your shoulder anyway getting onto that? Yeah, he's, he's, he's getting there. He's getting there. I've got to go for an MRI scan. It's just the NHS are in absolute pain. They're a sure. joke. You know, if I had the money, I'd go private, to be honest with you, which I don't. So I've got to wait for me up. Uh, hopefully, you know, touch wood, everything's all right. But it seems seems to be healing. Um, I just want to get back in there now. I'm getting itchy knuckles. <laughs> what was it? A, a, disli a lot of dislocation, know it was a dislocation yeah. wasn't it? But it's not the first time you had it, is it? No, no, no. I've had it in the past, and that's why they're taking all the precautions. Um, you know, aspiring after a big right daft hand. Lovely work there, nice by the way. Nice the body yeah. by uh, Sean. Nice fast hands. Just letting his hands go. He just, that's, I think that's the first time Cass has actually... Acknowledged his punches, yeah. yeah. Acknowledged yeah. his power. Yeah, I was talking to her. That's the end of the four rounds. Sean Crowley's professional career gets underway. Cass has got his arms raised, but I think maybe in hope rather than expectation. I was talking to Anthony Golgo about his shoulder injury recently and he's had a nightmare with it. Yeah. They've had to do a, a bone graft from the back of his shoulder, from his scapula and put it onto the front to stop it coming out again. Yeah. I mean, but, the, the doctors obviously mentioned uh, having it pinned back, so I think that's what I'm probably going to have to have done. I'm quite a fit lad, so I'll come back from it, you know. Yeah. I love me running, I can still do me running, which is, you know, a bonus, because I'd, I'd love to just put my earphones in and just go, go for a mooch. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get over to Michael Pass, who will give us the official <laughs> result of that first fight. Cass um, just tens, tensing then to the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Flexing, he's, he's after, Flexing asking for his on. photograph Cass. taken. <laughs> <laughs> Giving it the Usain Bolt pose. Ladies <laughs> 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 That was a good debut for me, you know. Cass, Cass, Cass loves, 
loves it, you know, loves the show, loves to give it. And to be fair, you know, it gets the crowd going in parts as well. That's 40, got that. <laughs> yeah, 40 points to 36 there. Sean Crowley gets his uh, professional crew under underway. He's one and all. Sold a few tickets here tonight, and they're all on my feet, delighted. I like Casquart. There was no way he got that no, off, off what I seen. I think he's just pulling the crowd's leg there. Yeah, we're not talking a robbery here.